The main menu design program allows you to design menus with sales items that are available for sale, as well as functions, which appear as buttons. This is the main area of your POS screen that displays in the middle of the screen on a POS workstation. Additional menus can be added and are categorized as tabs across the top of your main menu. Sales items, sales item groups, and sales categories must already be created in order to design your menus. To create a menu, navigate to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Main Menu Design. Click New to create a new menu or select an existing menu to make edits to it. Then you'll want to go ahead and enter a description as well as a tab label, which will be displayed on the tab within the POS screen and can be a short form of the description or anything else. Next, you'll want to select your menu type. The dynamic option automatically generates the list of sales items for the selected sales category and puts them under different tabs as defined in the sales categories. Dynamic menus are handy because they will automatically update and add new sales items when new sales items are added to a selected sales category. Static gives you the choice of assigning the buttons on your screen instead of having an auto-generated list of sales items. Just know that these menu types require a manual upkeep if changes need to be made. Also make sure to flag active if you wish to use this menu. If you selected the dynamic menu type, make sure you switch over to your sales categories tab, as here you will select which sales categories are eligible for this menu. When designing the menu layout, which we'll look at shortly, you will only see sales items from the sales categories that you mark as eligible. There is a limit to the number of buttons that appear under each tab according to the resolution of your screen. If the items exceed the limit, another line of tabs will appear under the Sales Categories tab. To add Sales Categories, use one of the following options. Double-click the Sales Category. Click and drag. Click on a category and click the green arrow. Or select multiple by holding down the control key and clicking the green arrow. If you'd like to remove something from the list, simply double click it. Then we want to switch back to the general tab and click the edit menu button, which will launch the menu designer. However, first let's take a look at a static menu type. The static menu type will display a screen with empty buttons if starting from scratch. The items and functions section on the left hand side of the screen display all available sales items, payment methods, menus, and functions that can be assigned to a menu button. You can optionally pin this sidebar to the left hand side of the screen by clicking the pin icon. From here you can use the left pane to navigate through your items by clicking the plus signs. To add an item to a menu button, simply click and drag it into the desired button. Another option is to select your button and assign the item from the right pane. For the main menu, the group is usually set over to general and your function usually set to sales item as it allows you to choose the sales item to populate in the button. However, you can also assign functions that are not sales items. The right pane shows all the appearance and customization options that can be applied to a button, and the options and customization will be dependent on the item or function being used. Some of the options include the ability to change the background and text color, assign or clear an image, and customize the font. Once an item has been used in a button, you can also adjust the button text, which is what displays on the button itself. You can utilize the Add Column and Add Row buttons to add more buttons to your menu. To remove a column or row, simply highlight the column or row and select the Delete Row or Column button. 
To remove or reset an individual button, drag an empty button over place of that existing button. And in the confirmation, click Yes to override. If you don't have any blank buttons available, you can add another column or row, then delete it after you've reset your button. Use the Select All button to select all of the menu buttons. This can be useful to change a setting for all buttons, such as the background color. The Clear Menu button will maintain all existing formatting on the menu, but will reset all the buttons to the Not Use function after prompting you for confirmation to do so. Once you have completed the adjustments to your menu, click Save and Close. Also make sure to click Save from the main screen. Now let's take a look at a dynamic menu type and click on that Edit Menu button. The dynamic menu type will have buttons pre-populated with sales items separated by tabs for each sales category. Note that additional buttons cannot be assigned for this type of menu. The right pane has the same common appearances and customization options as seen in the static menu design. The sales items will appear in the order that they are ordered within the sales category. Clicking sort A to Z will organize the buttons alphabetically. You can use the add row and add column buttons. However, these options will remove all formatting and the additional buttons cannot be assigned to items. So it is recommended not to use these features for this menu type. You can use the select all button which works the same way as in the static menu type. Once you've completed the adjustments to your menu, click Save and Close. And click Save from the main screen. Now that you've designed your menu, you will need to assign it to a screen template in order to have the menu appear on the corresponding POS screen. To do so, navigate to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Screen Templates. Click New to create a new screen template or select an existing template to make edits to it. If you are creating a new screen template, note that a toolbar, fixed function menu, and at least one menu must already be created in order to finalize and save the template. In the Menus tab, add your menu, as well as any additional menus that should appear as tabs within the POS screen, and order the menus using your up and down arrows. The menus will display in the order they appear on this list. If you are creating a new screen template, switch over to the General tab, set a description, and assign the applicable toolbar and fix function, and make sure Active is flagged, and go ahead and click Save. Lastly, you will just want to make sure the screen template is assigned to the applicable sales area by navigating over to System Administration and Sales Areas. Select your sales area, and within the Point of Sale tab, go ahead and assign your entry screen template. Then click Save.